doesn't give a good... It's not a good shaking box, is it? Although it's not that much of a surprise. I know what's inside. Reboxing. Reboxing. Remember, it's a reboxing video. Right, let's do this. One take. So I can edit all this out. Yeah. Should I shut the door? I'll shut the door in case you make too much noise. What? What? Ah, distractions. Hi Crafty Crew, welcome back to my channel and I have another Studio Calico box. So it arrived during this week, so I cannot wait to show you. But this is the February 2017 kits, so I hope you enjoy. So today we're gonna be showcasing these. Ta-da! Right, so in this reboxing, I have two of the February kits. So I have the documentary kit to this side, and I have the 12 by 12 scrapbooking kit to this side. Now, I ended up using a promotional code, so I ended up being able to get both of these kits for $5 each because I'm going back and testing out whether I prefer to subscribe to Studio Calico. At the moment, I'm still undecided, but I will explain that right at the end. So let's get into the reboxing. Oh, there's so many gorgeous things. So I'm going to start with this side. So in the documentary kit, it's called documentary. It's basically project life. That's the only way I can describe it. But so you get these three gorgeous gold clips, which are really, really pretty, really, really gorgeous gold. They're going to come in handy quite a lot. You also, in the collection, get a whole ton of these stars. Now, if I... Oh, I don't need to pick up that many just to show you. But they come in various sizes, but they are a gorgeous pink wood veneer. Really, really lovely. And I think I've only got one that's broken, but I'll be able to hide that. That is not a problem. But I really like the feel of these. Obviously, they are painted. And I guess you could probably paint them again, if I'm being brutally honest. If you had a different colour and you didn't necessarily need them in a pink, you could probably repaint them. So that might be something that I will do in a layout. Then you have these stickers. So these are geometric. They're like hexagons one two three four five six yep hexagon shapes they're really really lovely they're more of a like a card sticker rather than the flimsy but you have multiple different sizes from the small to the large in geometric patterns and colors really really lovely you also have this little stamp set now i love this stamp set really really gorgeous words a beautiful font I'm going to be able to use this on like every layout going because it doesn't necessarily just have to be for project life I can obviously stamp these and make them into my own embellishments or just stamp onto the images themselves so yeah and I love the ha one I think there's a lot of ha moments in life and that's going to be quite nice to use then in the collection, you also get these. Now, I haven't seen these before. They're like, um, I'd like to say rubber sticker, but they're from Jasmine Jones. I don't really know, apart from that, I don't know what they're called, but basically, from what I can gather, they're like a rubber sticker, basically, but I absolutely love the phrases on them. I think the fonts are really cool, and obviously they're really colourful. You could use them on a boy and a girl layout, so yeah, I really, really, really like them. I just wish maybe I'd got maybe a couple of packs, because I think I'm going to hoard these a lot. Like in most kits from the Studio Calico, you get this lovely rubber word. It says February, so I can't wait to use that. 
I also got these alphas. They are a black, all uppercase. I was trying to think of the word then. You get a few punctuation, not many, but quite a few O's and A's and E's. Obviously, it might be difficult to make an F into an E, I'm not too sure, but they're a really, really lovely font. Cannot wait to use those. And then also, sticker-wise, again, these are from Jasmine Jones. These are square, well, like rounded square stickers, and they're really really lovely obviously some good quotes some lovely colors there's a couple on there that i'm not too sure i will use like this one with the um eyelids and obviously i don't drink tea or coffee but maybe i've got a couple of layouts with me and my mum having a afternoon tea so i might have to use that for that but again really really lovely really really nice quality and as you can hear, they're more of a card sticker than a normal sticker, so they're really, really cute. And then lastly, within the collection, you get two different size cards. So you get the three by fours and the six by fours. So I will start with these ones first because they are, there's less of them, but I really, really love these cards. They're so gorgeous beautiful quality really really nice GSM really really nice colours in this collection this time round I've only ever had this collection and the Lost River so these are only really the two I can compare but the quality of the cards are just beautiful the only thing I'd say is I wish that this card, because this has the Hello Handsome and then the Hello Gorgeous, I wish that they had made two of these because I'm going to want to use this a lot and I'm not going to lie to you, I'd like to prefer to use both sides at once so that one I'm going to find difficult using but really really beautiful colours so they are the 6x4s and then the 3x4s are the same so there are some with a gold or a silver foil look at that shine Woo. but yeah all of the cards are squared corners they also come in no I don't think they do now I don't think they come in rounded corners but that's not a problem I'm kind of going for the squared corners this time round I don't know why but I just am but all of the cards are double sided and a lot of them, which I really, really like about Studio Calico, is they have sections like this. So this one's obviously to do with breakfast, lunch and dinner, but there are certain cards, so some like this, which is just a pattern, some like this where you can journal, some are a bit of both. So I really, really do like, there's another bit of foiling. I really, really do like, oh, look at that one. That's a little heart. Right, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> let me stop interrupting myself but yeah I really like the versatile cards in the collections and yeah the colours this time round are gorgeous really really lovely springy obviously it's a February kit so I was worried there was going to be loads of like hearts and pinks and all that sort of thing not that that's necessarily too much of a problem for me because I like pink but I like the fact that there's like especially like the opposite side there's a lot of white cards this time around I find sometimes the cards when you look at them they're kind of all colorful and then all colorful the other side but it's nice that this time around you get the color and then the white so Oh, continue dropping them. So they are all of the items from the documentary kit. And now I'm going to be talking about and running through the scrapbooking kit. Now, before I get into that, this is the information for the kit. So this is called Confident. It's glamorous, electric and lovely. It's all to do with obviously like these colours and having a quirky, bold and electric and elegant pattern. So really, really lovely set this time round. 
so let's get into the scrapbooking one so exactly the same as the documentary they come with these white stars obviously the white's a little bit more versatile than the pink but because they're painted I'm sure you'll be able to paint them yourself any colour you would like so you get a whole ton of those you can't quite see them because they're on my white display but you get tons I'll show you hold on ah trying to pick them up on camera is definitely not the right thing to do is it but look you get loads of them absolutely loads so they'll last you a ton in the collection you also get four tags these are really really lovely and I love this one it's got the little it's the little things and obviously space for journaling the love and then this one but obviously they're just one-sided but if you didn't like the pattern they're a really nice size so I guess like you could actually use the reverse if you wanted to but yeah they're really really pretty not too sure how I would use this one not too sure but I might stamp like a little phrase maybe in the middle not too sure on that one but I love them anyway in the collection you also get a stamp set so this one is adorable it's from one little bird and studio calico together so the top one says the simple truth this one has a heart with this I love this one yes 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 that's me all the time anything to do with scrapbooking I'm like yes do I need it? Yes. Do I want it? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. <laughs> so that's going to be used a lot. And then recorded. Now I really like this stamp. I think it's really, really ingenious. It's got obviously the word recorded and then can you see the box at the bottom? So you would maybe be able to add a word or the date. I really, really like that. So that's a really cute and all round usable stamp collection well stamp little set because I'll be able to use these in my project life and my 12 by 12 and probably anything else I can figure out to use them in so that's pretty awesome you also get a series of or oh, it's best I put them on here I think you get a series of acetate words and phrases I'm not too sure whether I like them if I'm being brutally honest this is probably the one thing I am not too sure on I love the words I love the phrases I think they're really really lovely but I'm a little bit worried on how on earth I'm going to use them I think you would just kind of attach it like that doesn't look too bad on there yeah I think I'm I'm gonna struggle using these but again I really like the fonts I really love the colors I really love the phrases and the like what makes you beautiful but yeah out of out of the both kits I think these are going to be the thing I'm going to struggle with the most to be able to use so if you've got any ideas on how I can use them please let me know or if you have the kit and you have used them then send me a link or tag me on Instagram because I'd love to know how you've used them because I think I'm going to need a little bit of help with that but also in the collection you get various size wall tags I actually don't have enough arm space ah that's not helpful I've got quite a small hand but basically they're loads of different tags some have got hearts on some of them are blank some have got like words and phrases on so I think they're really really sweet I don't know whether I will use them I'm not too sure because although obviously you can paint them but yeah I'm not I don't know whether I'd use these but if you've got a planner or something like that they would probably look really really awesome in that within the collection you also get some alphas so these are the sets of alphas they're a gorgeous gold well they're, they're more of a copper alpha with a gold tinge but loads of letters there's loads and loads in that pack so really really pretty and a colour I don't actually have, which will be quite nice to use. Then again from Jasmine Jones, there are these. These are more of like a chipboard sticker. And really, really cute words. There's some banners. Again, I don't know when I'll use the eyelashes, but we'll find out. 
but yeah really really cute love the colors I think they're gorgeous and they're really really nice and sticky so you don't have to use any more adhesive on them which is fabulous and then it's the papers so I'm going to try and show you bit by bit that's the plan so there's this paper here this is called seagrass seagrass <laughs> sea glass and I will hold it up so that you get a little bit more of a close-up but every now and again there's like these doodles and I love the colours I think like it just reminds me of someone like spreading loads of paint and then like smooshing it I love it and then the reverse is this green polka dot which is really cute you also have if I can pick it up you also have this one this is called Gal pa Gal Pals I have no idea what's wrong with me today I'm mixing all my words up but this is a lovely they're like little stars little yellow stars which is really sweet and then on the reverse is this gorgeous absolutely gorgeous flower pattern I will probably use it for this side if I'm brutally honest because I love the mixture of like the doodles and the like paint splodges and stuff but I do I do like that side but I'll probably use it for that side the majority of the time next one is a uh, kindred spirit and it's a geometric pattern with I don't know they look like diamonds but on the side but it's a lovely lovely red which is really sweet but I will probably use it for this side I'm unsure that gives you a little bit more of a close-up but basically it's these blue dots and then they're obviously all concentrated at the bottom and then they splurge out to the other side so I'll probably use that the next one is happy days really really sweet it's slightly confusing on the eye it's basically happy days written and oh no it's just happy I think happy 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 written all the time and then there's this lovely grid paper in lovely pink on the other side the next paper is this one this is so sweet I love this one so this is obviously the verse this is the side that I'd be using but the actual paper is called porcelain now don't get me wrong I do like this kind of side I would probably want to color in this particular pattern but hopefully you're all with me and it's all about the pink hearts I'm probably either going to use this as one big spread or I'm going to cut this up and use it in my project life I'm not too sure yet the next one is called moonlit really really cute it's like a blue yeah it's, it's definitely more of a blue it's kind of a little bit more mint greeny on camera but there's like obviously a range of different hand-drawn kind of stars really really sweet and then this side you probably won't be able to tell on camera I don't know whether it's gonna focus enough but it's basically I'd like to say marble but it's not it's definitely not marble it's like a grey wash and every now and again there's like some really really faint paint marks but again I'm probably going to be using it for the blue side then in the kit which is something that I didn't actually realize that you got was this transparency and it's a gorgeous floral in an orange really really lovely again not too sure when I would use it or how I would use it but we'll have to see for this one I'm not too sure and then like in all of the kits you get four different card stocks and they all have this lovely texture I don't know whether this is going to pick up on camera can you see the texture it's like a canvas print but you end up getting this lovely magnolia color there's also a white this gorgeous purple thank you studio calico for a purple this is like my favorite color this is probably the same color that my bridesmaids were in gorgeous so thankfully there's finally a purple and then there's a craft and guys that's the end of my reboxing so i will show you how the packages come so 
both of the packages come in these gorgeous zip wallets they're really really handy to use I end up using them and I store them in these and then they will just sit underneath my desk and then when I end up using them they are all there eventually when obviously all of the items have been used or near enough then I end up dispersing them into my stash but I actually have used a couple of these wallets especially the smaller ones for my grab fives when I've had to do like several in advance I will just place all the bits and pieces in these and then I don't actually have to sort through them on the day I can just pick up one of the bags and they're there so if you have a studio calico kit you've probably already seen the February and you've probably already got it oh bit of fluff but I really hope you enjoyed this reboxing with me I cannot wait to start using these I've already started to use the Lost River so stay tuned for some Studio Calico Project Life layouts using that but like I said if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to click that subscribe button it's big it's red and it's free and it means that you'll be able to see more scrapbooking videos from this tattooed lass and I will see you all again very soon.